Remember the days when we used to have to go to the shops and then you had to pick something out? And now we are so lucky that all the goodies that we want can be delivered right to our front door. So today I am unboxing, well, as you can see, it's a new pair of shoes. Let's unbox it right now. You know as well as I do that unboxing something it adds about 20% fun to whatever you're unboxing. So let's go unbox it and I'll see you in just a sec. So yeah, the Ultra Torin 4.5 Plush. That is what we're talking about today. I'm gonna take you for a run. Listen, I, you know, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I have been excited about running in a pair of Ultras. This is my first pair of Ultras and I've had it recommended to me that the Torin 4.5 Plush would be a good one for me to try just because, you know, I like I like a lot of cushioning, right? I like a lot of cushioning. This shoe has received some, some pretty good reviews. I have not run in a zero drop shoe before and I'm pretty excited to try it. You do remember the last couple of shoes that I reviewed, I'll link it up here, the comparison between the Nike Pegasus 37 and the Brooks Ghost 13. Those were very high drop shoes. I think 12 for the Brooks and 10 for the Nike Pegasus. The only thing left to do now is actually take it out for a run. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Guys, my name's Matt and on this channel we talk about all things running. If you like running, if you like getting new shoes, if you like getting new anything, why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps if you're not subscribed, consider doing so right now. We post two new videos a week and, and, Please hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Now we're going to try the new Ultra Torin 4.5 Plush. We're actually going somewhere a little different than usual for today's run. Uh, I did have an appointment downtown Sarasota pretty early and it's a quick appointment so i kind of did a few miles before i came out so i have already run in these ultra Torin 4.5 plush and i'm going out to finish the run now take some footage for you guys but i did already run 6.22 miles which is uh, 10k at an average pace of 808 a mile which is 503 a kilometer included some pickups in that uh, let's see the temperature this morning before sunrise 74 degrees, which is 23.33 degrees Celsius. But now we're downtown Sarasota. We're going to, oh, we're going to the Ringling Bridge. Always good, always a good time at the Ringling Bridge. I'm gonna tell you all about these shoes as soon as I'm done with this run. It is a gorgeous morning to be running down here. See the sun coming up behind me? All right, let me check in at the top of the bridge. This is one of the most popular places to come and work out in Sarasota. And at this time, first thing in the morning, it is packed with runners. The only downside is there's a lot of cars because it's rush hour. Suburbs.
All right, my friends, part two of the test of the Ultra Torin 4.5 Plush. And I'm here at the Ringling Bridge, downtown Sarasota. Oh, guys, this was a great run. Okay, it was 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 23.89 Celsius, but there was a wind blowing over the bridge and it was just perfect. Seriously, a gorgeous day. And I managed to knock out 7.7 .7 miles, which is about 12.4 kilometers, an average pace of 752 a mile, which is about 453 a kilometer. So I am gonna get changed out of these wet clothes. It is still a soaker out here and I will check in. We're gonna talk about these shoes in just a second. That's better. Guys, let me just point out that this is not my full review. The full review comes after running at least 100 miles in these shoes. Let me just adjust the camera down a little bit. Yeah, 100 miles, I'll give my full review. So today, this is just an initial review. I'm in the honeymoon phase with every shoe. Well, not every shoe, most shoes I fall in love with immediately. Then it takes me a little while to kind of go off them. The Ultra Torin 4.5 Plush is no exception. This shoe felt good throughout my first run. Now I know I ran two runs, but there was only a re... We got people hollering that there's dolphins out behind me. So, uh, oh, let me see. There they are. Okay, so we're gonna do this review backwards with the hope of getting the dolphins in the shot. Did you see them come up? Okay, I'm not sure if the sun is going to uh, make that hard to see, but uh, I'll try and zoom in. There are two dolphins just swimming out there. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna get sidetracked by some wonderful mammals swimming by. The Ultra Torin 4.5 Plush is a fantastic shoe. It felt good from the second I put on. I was a little surprised with the word plush in the name. I thought it was gonna be super, super plush. It wasn't. It was kind of soft, but it was a lot more responsive than I was expecting. There was a lot more road feel than I was expecting, which was a pleasant surprise, especially when I started to pick up the pace. It was just a nice feeling. Now, as you know, this is my first zero drop shoe. And while I didn't really notice anything negative about it, what I did notice, now this is what Ultra says in their whole promotion of zero drop shoes, is that it allows you to foot strike properly. And I found I was not heel striking at all. I was striking exactly midfoot. There was no scuffing of my heel as I came down. It was, it was a really nice stride and a really good feeling. Let's back things up to when I first opened the box. The quality is just, it's different from what I'm used to. Now, I know I told you in my last review of the Brooks Ghost 13 that I was surprised at the quality. This is even more so. Now, the tongue isn't gusseted, but I had no problem with it moving around. It stayed put for the entire run. It's a lovely kind of, I don't know, kind of feels like a wetsuit material on top with very thin padding. Not like those Nike tongues that are just like a wafer thin and not like a big, thick, sick tongue. This is, it's like the Goldilocks. It's the Goldilocks of tongues. Very happy with that. I was a little worried that it wasn't gusseted. Turns out I didn't have anything to worry about. We have a lovely knit upper and I was worried about it being too warm. It wasn't at all. Let me show you this heel counter. Now, when I first opened the box and I started squeezing it, does it feel, it doesn't feel very supportive. It's very loosey goosey, but I tell you what, I was very pleasantly surprised. I was expecting it to feel a little loose through my heel. The lockdown was perfect. I had no heel slip. I don't know what that is really saying because I had no heel slip in the Nike Pegasus 37 and it seems like everyone and their brother wrote me about heel slip in that shoe. But I had no heel slip in this. It just fit really well, surprisingly so. Now, we can see Ultra is known for the foot-shaped toe bed. Just hugely comfortable. I, I wish I had something negative to say about this shoe. I really do. Anyway, well, maybe I'll, I'll come up with something. Look how flexible it is. Very flexible. It just feels good on the foot through the whole gait. Let's look at the outsole. Before we go to the outsole, let's look at the midsole. Now, Altra uses their proprietary Quantic midsole. They also have one layer of TPU foam to give it just that extra responsiveness. So I think the Quantic gives it the soft cushioning and then the TPU just gives it the responsiveness. Look at me gushing about my new shoes. Anyway, onto the outsole. Look at this outsole rubber. So these are lined up with the metatarsals in your foot, which allegedly does something good. 
All right, I didn't notice anything negative, so it must be working. Let's see, how far did I actually run today? Almost 14 miles, 13.9 miles. I don't see anywhere, I don't see anywhere whatsoever. Now I've heard good things about these shoes lasting a very, very long time. That remains to be seen. Anyway guys, I think I've covered everything. Obviously I'm very happy with these shoes. I will let you know in my full review video if I actually have sore calves. Uh, I'll probably let you know on the other social media before then. So follow me on Instagram. Seems like a good idea. Guys, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. If you got any value from it, listen, go get these shoes and I promise you'll get some value. But if you got any value from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell icon. This is Matt from downtown Sarasota. Be kind, be happy, run well. We'll see you next time.